A Tale of Two Wastelands is for sure the best way to play Fallout 3 and New Vegas. And if you're watching this, you already know what it's all about. You're here to get the damn thing installed, which is notoriously complex and definitely requires a certain amount of precision. So in this video, I'm going to be breaking down the entire process into steps with chapters, leaving nothing to chance. So by the end of the video, you should have a perfect installation. We're going to do this right, we're going to do it once, and we're going to do it as efficiently as possible. And you also want to bring up the official written guide because it contains all of the links that you're gonna need and I'll put a link for that in the description below. So let's just get into it. So you're gonna need English copies of both Fallout 3 and New Vegas with all of their DLCs and these need to be from Steam, GOG or the Epic Game Store and it doesn't matter if you've got Fallout 3 from one store and New Vegas from a different one because you can mix and match them. You're also going to need 40 gigs free on your hard drive and the latest VC++ redists, which you may already have installed, but it's definitely worth double checking because it would be stupid to get to the end of the modding process and then it not work because you don't have the right redists. And if you're not sure, the best way to double check these is to simply re-download them from here and try to install them. And if you've already got them, Windows should tell you. If you try to install one of these and it does this and you only have the option to repair or uninstall, it means you've already got it. You're also going to need a ModPub account to download the Tale of Two Wastes and the Nexus Mod account to download the Mod Organizer and all of the other essential mods. Now the recommended specs are pretty modest but the main thing you need to pay attention to here is that everything really should be installed onto an SSD. Because this game, especially with mods, is constantly loading stuff in on the fly, an SSD is pretty much a prerequisite for smooth gameplay. Now before we get into this, if you've got Fallout 3 or New Vegas already installed, you're going to need to uninstall it first and manually delete out any residual files. And this is because we need to start from scratch. So go ahead and uninstall the game via storefront and the manual files that you need to delete are going to be in your documents. So go into the documents on the left hand side, go into the My Games folder and if you see a Fallout 3 and or a New Vegas folder, you need to delete them. If you're on Steam, do keep in mind you've got an extra step and you'll need to delete those same folders out of this folder location. When installing both of these games, you need to make sure that you are not using any default Windows folders, especially these Program Files folders, which all three installers will want to default to. So you need to make sure that you've got a custom folder location set up that you can install into instead. If you don't already have a custom folder set up, the best place to put it is on the root of your SSD, which for me is my C drive. So you just want to right click, go to new and add a folder. And I'm just going to call this games for the sake of ease, but you can call it whatever you want. And this is the folder that you're going to be installing into. Now with GOG and Epic Games, you can set the install folder path during the installation process, making it really easy just to set that custom folder location. However, with Steam, it is a little bit different. You'll need to set a custom path in your storage settings before you install. Alternatively, you can create a new Steam library with the Steam Library Setup tool as per the written guide. Once you've got both games installed into your custom folder, you then need to generate a fresh set of any files, which you can do by simply launching your game via your storefront. But if you are using an offline version, you need to launch the game via the launcher EXE. So this one, not this one. When you first boot the launcher for Fallout 3 and New Vegas, you should get some pop-ups. And all you need to do is press OK to all of them. And by simply doing that, we've generated the any files. And don't forget to do this for both games. Now you can just hit exit. Now that you've got both games installed, we can move on to sorting out the mod organizer, which you want to download from Nexus Mods. And I'll put a link for it in the description below. And you will need to be logged in to download it. And you want to grab it from the files tab and grab the top one for the most recent version. When it's downloaded, you want to unzip it like I've already done here and then open up the folder and then launch the EXE that's inside. You need to accept the agreement and then press next. Now you can set a custom location for the modding folder if you want to. And after all is said and done, it's going to be about 18 gigs. But for the sake of ease, I recommend just leaving it as is. Just make sure it's on the same drive as the game installs. Before you press next, we need to change the name of this last MO2 folder to the best of times. And even if you've got a custom location set, the last folder this needs to go into needs to be called exactly this. I'm not too sure why we need to do this, but the official guide tells us we need to do it. So we're going to do it. After you've changed that, you can press next. You want to make sure that recommended install is set here and leave all of these checked. Then press next. And again here, we're changing the name of this from mod organizer to the best of times. Then just press next. Don't create a shortcut just yet because we're going to create our own custom one later on. Now you can press next and then you can press install. When that's installed you want to leave this checked and hit finish so it launches. 
When this pops up, just hit next. Now we're going to be creating a portable instance, so make sure that you select portable instance. Now you should see a list of all of your Fallout game installs, including this option for a Tale of Two Wastelands, so make sure that you select this one. Now you need to select where you got Fallout New Vegas from, not Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas. For me, this is GOG. And make sure that all three of these are selected here, and now you can hit next. You don't want to change anything here, so just hit next again. Now you definitely want to connect your Nexus mod account to the mod organizer, because it will make it so much easier to download and install all of the essential mods, and it will ensure they are being put in the correct place. So you need to make sure that you're logged into your Nexus mod account via your browser, or still logged in from earlier on. So when you hit connect to Nexus, it will present you with this web page, and all you need to do is hit authorize. And if it's connected successfully, it should tell you. Now you can hit next, and now you can finally hit finish. When this pops up, you want to change the option in the drop down list to remember my choice, and then hit clear the read only flag. Then the mod organizer should load up with this pop up that you need to say yes to. Now you want to sort out your graphics settings for New Vegas. So from this drop down list, you want to change from Tale of Two Wastelands to the Fallout launcher. Then you want to hit run. And then you want to go into the options and hit ultra. And you also want to make sure that you set your screen resolution here. And if you're on lower end hardware, you can use medium instead. Then just hit OK and now you can exit out. Now you need to create a folder for the Tale of Two Wastelands mod to be installed into. So you want to click on this little folder icon right here and open up the mods folder. Then right click and create a new folder. And you want to call this Tale of Two Wastelands. Now that you created a folder for it, you probably kind of want to download it. And you want to download a Tale of Two Wastelands from this mod pub page. And I'll put a link for it in the description below. And again, you will need to be logged in. Just come over to the files tab and you want to download the installer from this manual download. Once it's downloaded, you want to unzip it like I've already done. Then you want to open up the folder and with the install.exe, you want to right click on it and run it as administrator. Now the folder paths for both games should be pre-populated, and if they're not, it means you haven't run the game at least once. But in any case, you want to double check that these are actually pointing to the correct install folders for both games. With this bottom option, we need to select the folder that we've just created. So we're going to hit browse on the right hand side, go into that best of times folder, wherever it is, and then we're going to go into that mods folder. Select the Taylor 2 Wastelands and hit select folder. Now you can scroll down and hit install and get yourself a cup of tea because for me it took about half hour. Once that's installed, open up the mod organizer and you should see the Taylor 2 Wastelands mod at the top. And if it's not there, just hit this refresh button. Now of course, this mod was designed to work in conjunction with a whole bunch of other essential mods, which we're going to get installed now. In the official guide under essential mods, you'll find links for every single additional mod that you need in the order that you need to download it. The majority of these you're going to be downloading and installing via the mod organizer, but there are two that you need to manually install, so I'm going to show you those first. New Vegas Script Extender is probably the most foundational mod of them all. So you want to grab it from this page, come over to Files, and make sure that you get the manual download. Once downloaded, you want to unzip it and open up the folder. And then you want to go into the root folder for your New Vegas install, and move all of these files into that root folder. The next manual mod we got to install is the game patches, and you want to make sure that you get the correct one for where you got New Vegas from. So if you got it from Steam or GOG, get this one, and if you got it from Epic, make sure you get this one. All you need to do is unzip the patch EXE, move it into the root folder of Fallout New Vegas, and then just double click on it to run it. Now from this point, every download is going to be a mod organizer download, which allows us to download the mods directly into the mod organizer so we can install directly from there. But before we do that, we want to create a separator in Mod Organizer. So bring up Mod Organizer, right click underneath the Tale of Two Wastelands and click on Create Separator. And you want to call this Utilities, then just press OK. You also want to double check that the Mod Organizer is connected to your Nexus Mods account. So just come up to the Settings icon at the top, then come over to the Nexus tab and it should say Connected. And if it doesn't, you can just hit connect to Nexus right here. But remember, you've got to be logged in via your browser before you hit this button. You also want to press associate download with manager links. And if you've got a pop up just then, just press yes to it. And this will make sure that all of your downloads are going to the correct place. Now there are quite a few downloads that you're going to need to get through. So definitely bring up this page and just smash your way through the list in sequence. And I'm going to show you how to download and install the first one so you can do the same to all of the others. 
Now each one of these entries is going to have a Nexus mod download link and it's also going to tell you exactly which files you need to get from it. So if you've got a mod that's got multiple download options, you only want to get the ones that this tells you to. So with the first one, just click on its download link. Then you want to come over to the files tab and we're going to be using the mod manager download, which will put the mod directly into the mod organizer. When you download via the mod manager option, you should get this pop up in your browser. And all you need to do is hit open. And if you don't want to do this every single time, just check this. Now you want to come back into the mod organizer and on the right hand side, you should have a downloads tab. And as you can see, that's where those downloads go into. And now you want to install it by right clicking and pressing on install. You can give it a custom name here if you want to, but just leave it as is. Now straight out of the box, the mod organizer doesn't let you click and drag around the mods into different orders or into different separators, which ideally you want to be able to do. So in the top right hand corner of the left hand pane, you want to click on priority, which unlocks the ability to move these mods around. And you want to put the mod you just downloaded into utilities. So now you know what you're doing, you can go ahead and download all of the others and make sure that you catch these additional mods with the Johnny Guitar mod and the Stewie's AI Tweaks mod. And while you're at it, you might as well download the ML Utilities Checker, which is down at the bottom of the page. After you've downloaded and installed everything, it should look like this. And obviously use this list to check it against your own. And before we go any further, you now need to restart your PC. So go ahead and do that and I'll meet you right back here. After you've restarted your PC, you now need to add the custom mini file for better optimization, which you definitely want to do. But before we do that, we need to double check something. So you want to click on this configure profiles button at the top here and make sure that all three of these are checked. Then just hit close. Then you want to come back to the essential mods page and towards the bottom, you'll find the custom INI section with the actual INI file right here. So if you click anywhere within it, it should select it all. Then you can just right click and copy. Now go back into the mod organizer, click on this tools button at the top here and go into the INI editor. Come over to the fallout custom.ini and we're gonna paste what we've just copied and then hit save. Now you're officially on the home stretch and now you need to activate all of these mods, which you do by simply checking these checkboxes next to their titles. And make sure you also get the ML utilities checker as this will double check if you've installed certain aspects correctly. Once you've activated all of these, you want to double check that Attack of Two Wastelands is selected here and you can finally hit run. When you boot this up with the Utilities Checker active, it should present you with this, which allows you to double check if you've got these parts installed correctly. And if you follow the video step by step, you shouldn't have any issues here. So now you can just press OK and now you are truly ready to play A Tale of Two Wastelands. Just remember the next time you boot this to uncheck that Utilities Checker because there's no real point in using it after the first time. Now you can hit new game and head out into the wastelands plural with all of the good stuff that these mods offer. I'm not going to drain it with a massive long outro because after all of that you're just going to want to play it. But if you actually got this installed using this video a like and a subscribe does go a long way. And if you had any issues let me know in the comments below and I'll do my best to help you out. And apart from that go play. Adios.